Hey guys, welcome back to the King's Fall Raid. After beating Golgoroth, you will have the chance to get an exotic chest. I will show you the way I take to get there. Everybody has their own way that they take. Doesn't matter how you get there, but the location will be shown shortly, and then I will skip forward a little bit. The next part you can again get to however way you feel comfortable with the Warlock's Glide and increased agility and a weapon with lightweight perk. I can make this jump. Otherwise just get across however you can. There are some platforms down below that will spawn bridges. If you stand on it, let someone get across, they stand on one, it comes back to you. But again, it doesn't really matter. All that matters is somebody has to get across to the the next doorway once you're at the doorway you can either wait for everybody to spawn in or everybody go to orbit and then join back on the person who made it once they've jumped up the next part the doors won't open until everybody in the group is there so if everybody else leaves and goes to orbit Doors will open for the one person there. I'll see you at the top. So this part is a little difficult to explain and bear with me because I've been told I over explain things and make it more complicated. As we're running forward here, my left is left, my right is right. The daughters are in the center, so there'll be four platforms around them. Holy War is at front left. Graf is at back left. Stoner is front right. And Tony Mac is back right. The game will automatically choose one person to be torn. That person will need to run up the platforms that get spawned in. Whatever platform the orb is above, which in this case is front left, nobody needs to be on that platform. So it'll always start counterclockwise from where the orb is. In this case, again, is front left. So Raph and Holy War start on back left. Once Raph jumps up, it'll start spawning in new platforms for Holy War to jump on. Once he's up, then Tony will jump up. Once Tony's up, Stoner will jump up. Holy War will run all the way around collect the orb and go to one of the daughters. We start with the one above me on left. He will jump to her, hold down square, and then we'll meet where Saintly Parasite is to shoot damage up at her. We will get an aura of unraveling, which will make us invincible and we can just do damage. That's why the touch of malice is so good at this part. As soon as somebody jumps on a platform, it starts the Hymn of Weaving. That is the time allotted to do damage to her, or any, either of the, the daughters. But you'll need to get the orb and then hold down square to be able to do damage. Whichever way you're facing, when you hold down squares, it'll shoot you. As you can see, Holy War go off to the side there. So he's going to make his way back to us. We do some damage and kill her pretty quickly. You'll stay in the center for a bit, clear ads, and then reset. The game will again choose a random person to be torn. That's when it's a little more difficult because you need to adjust and cover. It'll pick a new platform for the orb to be above, start one counterclockwise, first person jumps up, second person, third person. Watch out for snipers at 40 seconds left on him of weaving. Once the torn person gets the orb, they will slam the remaining daughter and then we'll meet on the platform that the first daughter was standing on. 
meet up there, pop bubble, do tether, and then just do damage to the remaining sister. If you kill her, that's it for this encounter. That's, uh, that's all there is to it. I hope that wasn't too much explaining that it became difficult to understand. If that's the case, I apologize, but I hope this helped. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.